Hello, I'm Avier X Toy Cat, and unlike a lot of people, I like to play Minecraft's creative mode only on creative specific worlds. I've had five of these worlds since 2012, since the console edition days, and I figured what'd be interesting is if I combine them all together, and so in today's video, I've done precisely that. I have five separate creative worlds, all very different, as you can probably tell looking in the background, and I've combined them all into one compact mega world for all of my creative builds to be in one place, and today I want to show you around that as well as explain exactly how it's done. But first, did you know that greater than 99% of people who have lost at least one leg aren't subscribed to the IBX Toy Cat YouTube channel? And of course, that's a joke, although that statistic is very real. Uh, but this is Black One Legged Steve. This is a centerpiece of the creative world. This is called C1. It's the one I used all the way from 2012 to when uh, Minecraft console uh, kind of was uh, discontinued in 2017 and when I started making Bedrock Worlds. And the world around this is therefore the most complex, the most detailed. As you can see, it's got all sorts of videos. I've recorded hundreds of them in this world. Some of them are building related, like this giant PlayStation 4 controller, or as you can see, there's Flowey or the Majora's Mask. Some of those things are build related. Some of those things were about videos though, like here is a house made from only functional Minecraft blocks, whether it's cauldrons or anvils or chests. Every single wall of this house is functional, which I think is cool. Um, there's uh, piston operated beacons. There's, uh, you know, like uh, weird quirks about Minecraft beds that don't work in Bedrock anymore. There's so many videos I recorded in this world that I used Creative for because I wanted to show something off very easily. And so yeah, to me, this is like seeing five years of worth of history in one place. Maybe you recognize something, but this is just one world and it's a world I stopped updating in 2017, but it's not a world I was willing to let go. And I didn't want to just come straight back to it either. It feels weird to just kind of come back to a world after abandoning it for me because I've had so many other worlds. I mean, it makes me feel guilty when I have worlds like this city world right here. As you can see, it's got a lovely bridge. It's got a hotel. It's got a hospital. It's got a road and a, a, a ferris wheel and actually that's about it. I've got this unfinished city that I started working on when Minecraft Bedrock first came out as a beta for Minecraft Xbox. It continually crashed the world. It, it crashed so hard at one point the world corrupted and this is an older backup. There's so many other city buildings that would have been here that got deleted because you know Minecraft Bedrock. It's, uh, it's a game where you need to have backups. It's not a choice and uh, I, I learned that lesson the hard way with this world but I still I, I do love lots of the bizarre things about it. Whether it's the weird ferris wheel or it's this build which I have so many comments asking, what is he even building? Why is the light green on the inside and orange on the outside? Why is there an orange and green skyscraper to begin with? Also, I built walls around this village, but only on one side. You know what? I had to build a wall. And just like most good walls, it only covers a small part of the affected area. Also, there's this, which... <laughs> you know, to this day, I'm still not entirely sure what I was going for. Uh, it gets even weirder when you look at like, oh yeah, here's an end city, created by hand, by the way, in the overworld. And then, as you can see, the lag factory over here, because I figured it would be fun, and I still do think it's fun, to make a giant chest filled of chests, and then to explode it to see how much lag that solves rather than creates. And as you can see, it's absolutely beautiful. But if we look at the, world, uh, uh, in the rest of the world, you can see other few bizarre things around here, like here's a ghast that's actually a never portal. I love this so much, I don't want to let it go. But also at the same time, I have been playing other creative worlds. I mean, there are builds like this one. This was part of a seven weird projects you probably shouldn't attempt video. And uh, honestly, I mean, looking at it now, you can see why this is a really bad idea, especially a bad idea to attempt in survival, but that hasn't stopped people. In fact, someone even made the front page of Reddit for doing this, which I thought was a great way to take the concept to its next logical level. Again, I, I love when people are inspired by my stuff. Uh, and apparently, uh, the fact that this idea was one that was so cool uh, that it made it to that front page, it was like, yeah, yeah, that's like, I felt the tiniest bit of satisfaction on someone else's behalf. I shouldn't have. I mean, it's it's their great work, not mine. I mean, I just I just made a video saying you shouldn't do this, and then they did. <laughs> but um, yeah, there's also loads of other mini projects around here. Like you can see, here's a Christmas tree I made on Christmas, and then it, it burned down. Uh, over here, I made a, I, if I'm not mistaken, I made a desert temple out of green wool, because you know what? We should go green and that includes the desert temples and I don't know why that village is covered in green actually but we should go green and that includes the desert temples isn't there something just weird feeling about this there is right I, I like it though and because I'm super disorganized on bedrock I don't just have one world for all these weird projects from videos where I tell people things that would be a really bad idea in survival but that I secretly want to do anyway um, so as well as things like that and uh, cavern on one world I have things like this it's an entirely neverified village 
I, I like it personally. I, I think there's something charming about this, but it doesn't mean that it's not terrible. But the point is, this is on a different world because I had no discipline of keeping to the same world. I mean, once you're starting new worlds every every video anyway, why not continue the trend? It actually is easier to just start a new world uh, in terms of video production than to keep it in the same place, but you do lose some stuff. And that's why when I decided to make a Minecraft replica of my house, this is a video people make all the time, but I made a realistic version of my house that makes you sad for me and makes you wish that, you know, you actually lived in a fancy land in Minecraft rather than a real land, uh, because this is my house, but in Minecraft. I mean, I like it because I see my real house in here, but like, objectively, this is an awful house, right? Also, I don't think a lot of the key functions work. Also, you can see my neighbors, you know? What? See, this would be real in the rude in the real world, but I can break right into my neighbor's house, see what's going on in their kitchen. Why do they have the exact same front door? Something's going on suspicious here. Anyway, my point is, and then I decided to build in front of that a giant uh, redstone lamp for some background gameplay. I really liked building a giant redstone repeater. I just I just enjoyed it an amount that I, I really shouldn't. And then I built this redstone trail off to a redstone torch. Is, isn't there something nice about this? And then I was like, you know what, we'll put the Minecraft logo in the background, but building the Minecraft logo takes a while. It's really thick. So I left out the R on the A, and now I've got Minecat, and I've also got this. And I just love this too much to let it go, and that's why I decided all five of these worlds need to be combined into one, and that's why we used MC Tool Chest to do so. So MC Tool Chest allows you to copy, move chunks around from worlds to worlds. This sounds like a sponsored video, but just to prove that it's not, I hate you MC Tool Chest. Don't sponsor me, don't give me your money. I don't want it, I don't deserve it. Okay, that was probably a bit extreme. How about I just say it's a garbage piece of software. It always crashes, but it's the best piece of software for the job. Um, uh, we can copy paste these various chunks from entirely different worlds at entirely different coordinates to be roughly within bounds of each other so we can see them at the same time. So I uploaded each of the creative worlds onto the realm, then I downloaded it on my Windows 10 PC. Then from downloading there, you can export the file with using uh, this handy little button right here export world. And then that gave me five .mc world files, which I could put into MC tool chest, or rather my good friend Deshi, who works with me in IBX Toe Maps, put them into MC tool chest to combine them all together. And that is how we ended up with this. This was the first version of every single major chunk with any form of build in it, just kind of all combined into one place. This is the map of what it all looks like together as well. As you can see, it's a little bit messy. Even if you look at it in person, it's like all the stuff from the creative world is a bit far away. Um, the reason for that is because this was a thousand by thousand world. I did build some things out here in the corner. So for instance, here is, um, <laughs> as you might know, here is my village that I destroyed by hand and then rebuilt. I don't know why I did that in my creative world. You know, really would have made sense to do that in survival. Right? I, I played survival in my creative world and that was dumb of me is what I'm saying right here. But isn't this interesting? This is my take on re reconstructing a village. I made a I made a lava mountain. I, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful world. But then as well as that, uh, obviously this is a super flat world so it's much lower than the alternative chunks. But you can see at the same time, wow, what's this over here? Here's a never, oh, sorry, what are they called? The pillager tower but it's made from never blocks. Wow, that's so fun. Oh wow, what's that over there? Is that my city world? I mean, you can spot the ghast, right? Yep, that's merging in here. And the way we did this is by having these little chunk borders between everything. So this is one set of chunks from, I think, Weird Projects 2. Uh, that's one, th 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 those are the sets of chunks from the city world that is mostly non-city. Um, this is a chunk from that as well. I don't think there's anything in this chunk, but like it was loaded up, so we figured maybe it was important. Oh no, it is important. It's Every time I look at this, I think, ah, that's not that's not useful at all. But then I look down below and I go, ah, yeah, I made a I made an ocean monument, but I made it from Blackstone, which I think is beautiful. Anyway, so as well as having the weird projects world, the city world, as well as, of course, the creative world you all know and love, it's weird to see it that, like, yeah, there's the creative world, there's the city over there, and then just over here, you know that, uh, you know, that village that I converted into another village? I mean, it's a bit of a rough... Uh, cut job right here, but you can see like ah yeah, it's over here I can see the village, but it's like floating in its own in these little chunks right here I can keep all of the builds that I actually made that over there is a village with walls around it Just over here is my desert temple made from green wool as well as my big uh, Again reverse pyramid. I guess you might call it the the <laughs> the big entryway into my end you could also call it I know, it's, it's, it's fun to see this all existing in the same world, right? All of these projects that otherwise would have been lost to history, like the glass-covered ravine and the, the river that's covered entirely in uh, leaves. Again, terrible projects. You shouldn't attempt them. They exist right here. Do you see up there the blue ice between the, 
the, the Savannah Peaks. Wow, it's all, the gang's all here together. Including this, did I wall off my, why did I do this? <laughs> I guess it's such a, such a sight of uh, beautiful heritage that it has to be preserved for future generations to enjoy. I mean, it makes sense. However, you know what? Even though this was great, there's also a lot of mess. Like, it's hard to get between various points in the world. It seemed like it needs some trimming. And also, the biggest point of concern to me was the fact that, like, yeah, there was such a big space of, like, flat land between, uh, again, the creative world and these other worlds. So that was something we decided to fix. Also, some of these giant gaps between them. Like, I understand having the chunk between some of them, but, like, why is there a gap of land there? We might as well use it for something, right? And so that's exactly what we did. And this was the third revision, the final revision, I believe, for now, where we filled up some of the- we, we moved around some of the chunks, so now you'll notice at the bottom of the world, this is here. So effectively, we rotated the creative world to make it closer to the other builds, make it easier to fly between or anything else. Also, some of the other chunks have been rotated and moved, and then some of the gaps- so, for instance, that never village from earlier, it's right over there. Wow, it's easy to spot. For instance, you know how we didn't spot the- the house? and the Minecat logo, and the redstone. Wow, it's just over here. And to make things even cooler, you might notice some other random chunks in between. Uh, and those random chunks we decide to fill with just interesting terrain. So this is an amplified world. If I want to make a creative video doing something about amplified, I think this would be a really interesting way to do that, right? Uh, this is a jungle biome. That's a mesa biome. Just a few of the gaps have been filled in with interesting terrain that I can later build things in if I want to. Rather than just taking all my stuff and putting it in one world, I think giving yourself room to expand, a very smart idea. Uh, for instance, if I want to expand to the right here, I can do that. Oh, and by the way, I do have to say, uh, there are some ugly, like, edges to the way this works, because we just did it by the chunk. I'm sure we can work through those later, but for now, like, to have a collection of a lot of the bizarre things that you've built across time in one place, for me, at least, this feels good. For me, this is something I'm really glad to have done. Um, but the only biggest problem I have now is, like, well, uh, it's great. I love having access to all this stuff in one place. However, it's still not in one place, is it? I mean, even though we move chunks around to make this from one world, close to this from an entirely different world, close to that from the same world as that one, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it's it's really cool to move things around to make things like this work. Also, this is a really ugly wall. Did I really do this? <laughs> Was this from a Project She Shouldn't Make video? Because I kind of like this, actually. You know, I I think, even even though it's like ugly by contrast, I think there's something to be said for this giant wall that clearly I, I didn't agree with because I never finished it. Is this... Why, why did I leave this open? Was I going to make a second entryway? Or did I just figure, you know what? If invaders have the foresight to go all the way around, they kind of deserve to get in. That was probably my logic, wasn't it? <laughs> also, I have this over here. I mean, I'm just... I'm just saying, there's some sloppy wall work going on here. But I think the only major thing missing now is, of course, to make it easy to get around. When you have a creative world this large, it's something like 2,000 by 2,000 blocks across. Honestly, flying across it just feels slow. Um, obviously we can elytra and firework and stuff, but we've still got like a speed that's just not fun. When you're not flying over builds, flying a creative is not a fun thing to do. Oh, by the way, it's part of the city. I built a dam. This is my, my first ever dam in Minecraft. And it actually works like it- I, I don't know why if it's for creative, but like I actually made it so it would work. So you can seal off the dam, and you can stop the water flowing into the valley, and then you can turn it on again. I mean, this- these are things that you build that you, you kind of want to see, even if just to make fun of past you. Isn't that beautiful? I think that's beautiful. But, um, yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I, I, I really like this world, but it's a little bit annoying to fly around, and so that's something I figured I'd fix with a few command blocks. And so the basic idea is I'm just going to have a bunch of buttons that teleport you around, so we can be like, I never know how to work redstone blocks correctly. Oh, interestingly, this was actually just the setting for command blocks being enabled, not being enabled. Oh no, it wasn't. <laughs> Tell me what's wrong. <laughs> and so now what we can do is we can make the inside of Black One-Legged Steve's skull- uh, In case you're curious, this was just meant to be like a central point for all the videos. What we can do with the inside of his skull is we can make it the way that we teleport between various places. Wow, now we've got six different butter- You know what? Six seems excessive. Let's- let's go back down to like four. You know what? Also, we can't put them in that corner there, can we? You know what? We'll put them down on the ground. And now we got four separate teleports to four separate places in the world. Okay, I'm going to be real with you. That was slightly more effort than I was expecting. I guess if you already know coordinates, these things are easy. Uh, but I set up four basic teleport buttons if I want to go to the city, the IRL house, weird builds, and weird builds too. Four things that were previously in separate worlds, now I can just go to. Do I want to see the city? 
Here's the city. Wow, isn't it nice? Actually, I don't want to see the city. I want to go back. Handily enough, there's a button already labeled, and I end up back here. Oh, actually, I want to go see the IRL house. Wow, isn't this house beautiful? I like it so much. I'd better leave through the front window, which apparently is a serious security concern I should address. But actually, you know what? I'm bored of this place too. I'm gonna go back. If only there was a button. Yeah, look at that. It's also labeled, handily enough, go back. Except, you know what? What if I wanna go see the first set of weird builds? The, they're on opposite sides of the world to each other. Wow, this is nice. I love that bridge made from campfires. Except maybe I go back and I want to see that, you know, you get the point of teleporting at this point. But um, yeah, I, I think this one, I, I think this is a particularly fun little thing that we've set up. I think that it takes 20 minutes uh, to do the teleporting around. It takes an extra half an hour uh, to do the merging things together. But I really like the idea of having all my builds in one place. And I also like, I don't know, I, I feel, I, I'm like a hoarder in real life. I feel bad throwing things away and now having collected all up into one world is just kind of satisfying. Let me know if you agree with that. Like, I would love to uh, perhaps show people around. I'd also love to know if like someone thinks like, no Toy Cat, before you do anything else, you've got something wrong. Because again, I, I'm i a big fan of trying to preserve things if we can. Uh, and if they're things that I like, <laughs> I don't want to preserve your things, but I'm uh, I'm just kidding, of course. Um, but I also think um, that I, to, you know, to kind of celebrate this new world, uh, if, if, if you don't hate everything, if we do continue, I've got this big gap over here. This is the only gap that I haven't filled, and I figured, you know what would be fun to fill it with? I mean, like, I can, do, I can do anything in Minecraft. I can fill this with absolutely anything I want. I've got endless possibilities open to me. That's right, it's grass blocks. Isn't this exciting? Oh, look at this wonderful space that we can fill with activities. Look how it perfectly fills the gap. Oh, I am... Just too wonderful, I know. So the idea is I've got this big old plane. I'm going to be filling it, not with just anything, but I want to fill it with uh, a fun little series I've been wanting to do for a while, which is building your comment ideas. So I'm going to be building your comments on this video. If you have an idea you'd like me to build, type it in the comments down below. If you like someone else's idea, then like it. And then obviously we can work out from the most liked ones what I should do. And then I'll be ignoring the most liked ones anyone, well, anyway, and deciding what to do myself. Also, I might not end up doing the video because you're not, what if your ideas are bad enough? I'm not committing to that this early on. But if you want to uh, have a little pace in place in this, I will be building a few of your ideas over here because it's something I've wanted to do forever, you know, in the in the Toy Cat style, if you know what I mean. And uh, <laughs> maybe I'll be doing precisely that with your comments on this video. But the only thing that isn't in the comments on this video are, um, I guess, the ability to avoid a house fire, which is something you have to subscribe to do. There we go, nailed it. Put, put it back in there. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this little video. Uh, let me know if this world is interesting to you or if it literally is just a me thing. But I, 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 I thought this was something worth making a video on. Just like, I finally have a creative world rather than having to make a bunch of new creative worlds every time. Uh, there are some builds that are still lost to history. Like, either I deleted the world by accident or I can't find it after looking. But it's nice to know that some of my favorite things that I've built in background gameplays and whatnot throughout the years, it, it's nice to know that some of those things uh, do exist and are doing well. And, uh, oh, what is this down here? Oh, this is a fun little jungle that generated, isn't it? But yeah, it's it's uh, it's uh nice to, it, it's interesting to know if this is just for me or if you like it too. And if you don't like it, maybe you'll like it when I build your builds and not your builds because your ideas suck, but other people's builds from the comment section below. That's not inspiring. You know, other people's builds sucks, yours are great. It's just most people suck, which means statistically that's yours too, but not you, I know you. You're great with building. It's just it's just those other people, you know? Ugh. Other people, am I right? Okay, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all when I fill this next time. It'll probably be a couple of weeks, actually. If ever. <laughs> I'm so good at prying myself. But yeah, thank you for watching. Goodbye.